Another week, another week of SOS conversations. It's been pretty light on for the main reason being is because I had man flu. For those who don't know, it is the second worst category of, of um, illness on the planet. It um, outweighs pregnancy. And it should be categorised as a life-altering illness. Only males get it, though, because we're not as tough as females. Anyway, some chats that we've had this week and some of the stuff that, 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 that we've overheard. Um, we, we had a topic a couple of weeks ago um, about always was and always will be, and that led to some discussions around... What does that mean? For me, it's a place where we need to respect the traditional owners. We need to tell the truth about what really happened. And that's, and, and that's my thoughts of it. Um, I have no doubt that there'll be some people who you know, feel a little bit differently about it. Um, and that's fine because, you know, we, we, we all have differing views about what that means and, you know, but if we can start to, to tell the truth and start to understand why, indigenous, why the Indigenous population feels the way it is, there can be some real changes made. Um, and as I said, I've had man flu... And it is bad, but, you know, I just had to, you know, just spend a couple of days at home so I, so I didn't actually spread it to anyone else, which I don't think I have. So that's good. Um, SOS chats. It happens next week. The first guest is me, because it's going to set the tone about what SOS chats is going to be about. And I've already spoken to some people about who I, who I want to tell their story. And my thoughts around SOS Chats is that, you know, in every single glossy magazine or on every single billboard or every single story you hear, it's about, it's about you know, some of the best in the business, you know, the best athletes, best actors um, who tell their story about how they overcome their mental health challenges. And for me, I want to hear what the, what the everyday person on the street, so those people that you can, you know, you'll, you'll walk past the street and you'll know their story. And nine times out of ten, they will want to talk about it. All right? And I think that's going to be a little bit different to what um, some other stuff that we hear about mental health. Um, some of the conversations that we've heard out and about is that one starting with most people. And I know that Billy Thorpe had a really decent song, and I'm not going to sing because my voice is only allowed in the shower in the car. But here's the thing. We don't know most people, all right? And we have no idea what most people think. We just, we just look at somebody and go, oh, most people, and that's not really you know, what we should be doing. We should be worrying about what we are and what we can change as an, as, a, as an individual as an individual, and as a community because most people doesn't affect them, OK? <clears throat> Currently, for some reason, you know, and I'm going to be pretty blunt, my headspace is not right, and I don't know why. So that's something that I'll be sort of trying to get under get an understanding about um, next week. I need to get back on the bike again because, to me, that sort of clears my headspace a little bit. So, you know, I can see the Watt bike over there in the corner starting to, starting to turn away from me in shame. Um, but, you know, we need to find things that that make our headspace better. And if you know what some of those things are and they're really good for you, just do them, all right? I have been a little bit lazy, but we have been busy here. But as I tell people, that's not an excuse. And it's not an excuse for me either, all right? We were fortunate enough over the weekend to head to Tidal in Marimbula. Now, 
If you haven't been to Tidal and Marimbula, get there. Simply outstanding service. The food is, I'm going to say, probably the best I've ever eaten, and I've eaten a lot. Um, so, you know, get out, see Tidal. This is not a paid plug. We had to pay for our meal and pay for our drinks. But the service is wonderful. The food is delightful. And the outlook looking over the um, oyster leases out at Marimbula, it's pretty bloody good. All right, so peace out. I wonder what next week's going to bring. Be good to your brain.